Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I just got back from my cruise. Thank you for all the kind comments. We had a blast traveling through Mexico, but I got home and head straight up to the manufacturer here in Indiana because I wanted to be one of the first people on the market to show you an amazing camper, a bunch of amazing campers really. So stay tuned, hit that like and subscribe button for all the content coming out. But you might have seen travel trailers with a hidden bunk but this is a fifth wheel with a hidden bunk and it is an incredible floor plan. I'm super excited. I'm also teaming up with Funtown RV to provide you with some amazing pricing. If you guys would like to see what I have to offer, my contact information will be in the top right of the screen as well as down in the description along with the specifications of this unit. Length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that good stuff. But hope you guys enjoy the tour. Should run about 15 to 20 minutes. Again, it's the 2024 Salem Hemisphere. 320 view. Let's go ahead. Let's head right in because it is pretty darn chilly here. And right when you walk in, it has the look of what would be, you know, a traditional couples coach. You get a lot of space to kind of move around a really cool couch over here with the entertainment in a perfect primo spot. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. But I love how that's directly across you know, from the couch. That is pretty darn nice, along with an electric fireplace. Get it nice and roasty in here. But you flip around, you notice it's got a rear kitchen setup with these big square windows that open up really nice and wide, allow some natural lighting, but it's also got a tent and they changed the air conditioning system to the airflow, which is nice. Gonna have 40% more output. That's a big time plus, especially for those people that are down in the South. Me as a Midwesterner, It'll just provide, you know, a little extra air conditioner, but down south, that'll really help go a long way of keeping this thing nice and cool. They went through some pretty severe testing and up to 120 degrees, it actually sat at a cool 70. So that is pretty nice. But again, even though this is traditionally a couples coach, you actually have a hidden bunk right behind this door, which is pretty darn nice. I'll show you that here in a second, but I want to start back in the rear kitchen area. So really cool and unique setup right here. They really took this from some of those travel trailers that did so well. But you have the solid surface countertops now, outlets and two USBs. You're going to have four stools. So that way, you know, you can sit down, enjoy, maybe watch some TV that's going to be, you know, on a swivel right over here. So maybe if you're sitting down, you know, eating some eggs and bacon, having some breakfast, enjoying a good view, but one of the kids wants to watch a show there in the morning, you know, you can do that. Go ahead and move that TV, angle it your way, some pendulant lighting, the bowed ceiling. This thing just feels huge. You know, I'm six feet tall uh, with uh, pretty average size arms. And you can see I can't even reach the ceiling at its lowest point. So that is pretty darn nice. Really good head clearance, not stuffy at all. Right here is going to be an emergency exit. So pull, push, and plop. You can get out in a hurry. But man, just imagine that you're sitting down, maybe a lakeside view or watching some of the kids, you know, run around and play. Uh, just really versatile. And if you're, you don't have to buy this if you are uh, somebody with family. I have sold a whole bunch of these where people converted the bunk room into like a sewing room or a walk-in closet, you know, things of that. But Man, this countertop, it wraps all the way around. It's really nice functional space right over in both corners. You're going to see USB and outlets. And over on this side, you'll have outlets and a switch for a little LED light that glows a nice blue, maybe for an ambient glow, you know, in the middle of the night. Another emergency exit window. But man, the windows in this are incredible. Tons of countertop space. Stainless steel undermounted ball with a highfalutin, you know, high-rise faucet. Hitting those dishes from all angles got those little brass tabs so that way you can get your fancy on and then underneath clean cut storage and access to your plumbing I love seeing that plus you're going to notice it's on the soft close so I like how they made that addition over here you're going to have your Furion oven so you get your three stovetop burners so you can start cooking up all the fixings you know we got Thanksgiving on the way so you can get a little semblance of that right there. Now the oven, not big enough for a turkey, but maybe some of those fancy, you know, Cornish hens for, for dinner on the road, along with a place to put your pots and pans there underneath. Again, the brass tabs, but you're going to get three of these pull-out drawers. And right now you got your quick connect uh, for your spray port. And then you also have uh, the drying rack for the top of the sink. Now the rep did tell me this microwave is at its highest point right now than it will be. So come in here soon. They're gonna drop the microwave down. 
another about four to five inches. So they're actually going to take this window, adjust it down, and then take this and lower it because I am six feet tall. And while it's not a problem for me, you know, it could be for some of the little ones. So they thought about that, had a recommendation. They're going to go ahead and drop that down, make it just a little bit more functional. Love seeing that. You know, this uh, company in general is one of the better ones at actually paying attention. And here, when I publish the, the 44 view, the next, you know, kind of big thing, you know, you're going to see uh, that they, they paid a lot of attention to a lot of recommendations. So I can't wait to show you guys that. Now, this is going to be the Gerard right here. What I like about this, it's a big old 12 volt refrigerator. You got enough room to pack away a week's worth of stuff. Absolutely no problem. The freezer section will actually keep stuff frozen, unlike the gas and electric refrigerators of the past. Those things are kind of going away, and this is definitely substituting them. If you haven't seen them already, you know, this is definitely going to be what you're seeing if you're your know, first time in the market. So I like that. A little bit safer, the old bowling gun, baby. Uh, but it's also way more effective. I know a lot of campers don't like to drink, but you do have an area where you can put, you know, some wine glass or something like that if you happen to. Now on this side, you're going to have a pantry and you go about knuckle deep right there. But plenty of place you can use as like a pantry or something, uh, you know, for all your food storage. But this is where things start to get really cool. So from this angle, again, the TV does swivel, but you have this pantry over here and then you have the hidden bunk right over there. So let's go ahead and... Uh, I'll show you this here in a second. Let's go ahead and get to the hidden bunk. I know that's what everyone wanting to see. So right here, you grab this handle, you open it up. You know, it looks like the same pantry you just had, just not as deep. But then you notice it's got that handle right there. Because when you pull it out, bada bang, bada boom, you have a bunk room, baby. You got a big old window. It's ducted back over here with a 12 volt fan. So this thing won't get stuffy in here. You're going to be feeling good. The flip up bunk. So this is where I was talking about. You can either remove it, use it as a big old walk-in closet where you can drop this down, 300 pound weight rating, pretty darn incredible, but just some extra sleeping or storage or however you wanna use it. Now there is an emergency exit again that you can use if you would like to. That's gonna have the actual Dracula shade, the day and night shade right there, but the rest of the windows are gonna come with these right here. So pretty cool, pretty sturdy. We'll see how they go, we'll see how the reviews are, but I think they're gonna be a pretty big hit. Look at that. Two USBs and two outlets, two cubbies. Top one, two USBs, two outlets, and two cubbies. So no arguing there. You also got your own little light. But you could sit back, play some video games in here, you know, kind of do whatever. Get some kind of you time as a kid. And then you also have another dresser right here as well. And a little step stool to help you get up into uh, the bunk room. So now as you pull it back out, we're back to the entertainment section again directly across from the couch. So again, I love that, uh, you know, that disposition right there. So you have the Sansui TV, my personal favorite brand to say, Sansui. And then you got the Furion with the HDMI, USB, zone one and two. So that's inside, outside. So you can play music on both sides. And of course the aux cord. This thing gets absolutely bumping. So I love seeing that. And then you have your fireplace uh, that puts out enough heat to really heat up this camper, you know, on the chilliest of days. Another thing that I really like as we flip it around, is you have this board. Now, typically in most RVs, this is just gonna be wasted space, but they actually put the chalkboard finish on there, so I really like that. So, you know, grab your paint stick, your chalkboard, whatever, maybe write a little to-do list, or you could write out a, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing about a memory I had. Uh, you could write out a menu. So back in the day, I have, I have it on my other YouTube channel, but you could check it out. My wife actually wrote out <laughs> the meals for the week, and she spelled out right after we had her baby, so she said she had baby brain, but, she put, uh, instead of lasagna, she spelled it lasagna. And I just, I can't look at that board to save anymore. But, oh man. Two outlets, fuse boxes right there. So if something's not working, make sure to check that out. You have the floating steps. And this is going to be your main door. Directly across from it's going to be all your controls. So your suburban on-demand hot water heater. Love seeing that. You got your awning control, your slide-out controls. You know, all your different lights and whatnot. That's going to be what those LED lights are looking. And again... Uh, there is another switch right over here to turn up that top one as well. Gives a nice little kind of ambient glow, you know, if you're coming out for a midnight snack. Water pump, water heater, tank heaters. The tank heaters are nice because it keeps things warmer longer during the winter. You know, you can camp out, you know, even just a little bit below freezing because you have a tank heater that's going to keep it from freezing, which is always a plus. 
And then of course, you know, all your different, you know, tank fills right there, you know, with your meter readers. And then this is the airflow system I was telling you about. Uh, increases AC air volume, bounces airflow throughout the RV, improved efficiency leads to energy and cost savings, cools the RV quicker. So again, for those folks that are down south or even up here when it starts getting a little bit, uh, you know, in the warmer season, that will put out 40% more airflow and therefore you know, really help cool this down. They tested it, you know, from 120. It stayed a cool 70 degrees. I love hearing about it. Can't wait to see, you know, what people think. A big old window right up here into the front little hallway. Got the bedroom right there, but this is going to be the bathroom. Nice head height on that. Again, I'm six feet tall. I weigh about 300 pounds. I got plenty of head height. Let's go ahead and jump in the shower real quick. But you can see really spacious shower, even for a bigger guy. Uh, there's definitely room for two if you're getting funky down at the campground. But you also got a little place where you can sit down, maybe put a leg up, you know, if you're shaving your legs or something like that. But also with me being a little bit of a bigger guy, you know, I do take the space under a kind of a different light. So, you know, things like the tri, the tri glide glass series right here, three panes of glass, it opens up a little bit wider. So that way you can get in. You know, you don't have to worry about sucking your belly in just to get into the shower. So that's a big time plus for someone like me. Maybe for someone like you. Got the old porcelain throne. Uh, the foot flush, that's always a big time plus. You got these little rhino guys waiting for, you know, a towel to be hung up on them. And then check out how deep that is. Now, I can't even reach the end of that, but it's going to go the entire depth of the shower and even a little bit longer. There's going to be three of those. Bam! Bam! Tell you what, the bowling arm is at an all-time weakest. That cruise we went all throughout Mexico, it's uh, you're just eating and drinking all day long, and it's just unlimited everything. So it's uh, man, it was rough, but it was a great time. I really liked Honduras. Honduras was freaking awesome. Stainless steel sink, brass finish to the top, decorative candle just to give you an idea. I think that's pretty nice. The max air fan, so that way you can get some of the steamer stink flowing right about there oversized powered you know fan basically and then again access to your plumbing and some clean cut storage bring it into the bedroom the first thing that i notice and something that i love about salem you know heritage Glen, hemisphere you know all those is this versatile 14 and a half inch lift so you're gonna see the beds on the angle you can lower it down make it completely flat custom king but it creates so much extra room you know, here in the bedroom, which is a huge plus. You can actually get dressed, walk around, you know, have a have a fairly easy time moving around. In most RVs, you simply just can't do that. So I like seeing that. So not only is it on east to west slide, but you also got the VersaTilt maximizing that space. A big old dresser right here. You also got a little bit of hidden storage up top. So if you have some valuables, you know, jewelry or gun or something like that, that you don't necessarily want people seeing if they do come into your RV, you know, right there, they're never going to know that's that there, unless they're really familiar with RVs in general. Three dresser drawers, another emergency exit, again, pull, push, and plop. A TV backer, so there's actually a place right there where you can put a TV, and you got really pretty much a limited room for that right here. You could probably put in a 45, 50 inch, something like that. The appropriate plugins for it. Outlets on both sides. So what's nice about that is if, uh, I don't know where I was going with that. What's nice about that is there's outlets on both sides. <laughs> you got two USBs, two outlets, and then right down there, oh, where the heck is it? Oh, yeah, it's right there in that little black box. So two outlets there. You got a big old closet. Let's get some of these lights on for you. Washer and dryer prep, big time plus, especially for those people that are doing some extended stay camping. Little area where you can put some shoes and maybe some stuff that you don't need to hang up. But look at that, just a ton of space right there. So I love seeing it. But all right, guys, that about wraps it up here for the inside portion of this tour. Again, this is the 2024 Hemisphere 320 view. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. Now I'm gonna head around the outside, spend a couple moments, just kind of show you, you know, what she's all about there, where everything is located, the outdoor storage and whatnot. Don't forget that hidden bunk room is right there. All right, so 2024 Salem Hemisphere 320 view. Again, all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description of this video. If you haven't already and you've made it this far, please hit that like and subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. 
Still working on that goal of 40,000 here by the end of 2023. So anything that you can do to help me out, I'd be forever grateful for sure. Mid profile RV, so you're gonna notice how it kind of tails off in the back. Cuts down on a little bit of weight, helps you get into some extra places. You're gonna see you have the electric stabilizing jacks right there. So you do have automatic power stabilizing jacks. You have LED lights in the front and safety markers on the side. The square windows just give it a really clean, crisp look. Now, if you guys have some furry friends that are coming with you, they do include a leash latch uh, so that we don't have to worry about them running around. And then you see this, this is gonna be your marine grade outside speaker. Pretty good size awning. I'm gonna guess somewhere like around 20 feet or so, but you see you got that white LED light. That's also, again, gonna help you at night, kind of extend that nightlife. You're also gonna have a place where you can plug in, you know, a TV. So if you wanna sit down, you know, play some games, pregame, tailgate, do whatever you want. You got outlets, and then you got your cable plug in right there. An absolutely massive pass-through storage. I love seeing that, it's really wide. You know, you could put like a ladder or picnic tables, cornhole boards, you know, whatever you wanna do. But it's also gonna be heated and enclosed. They call it the Accessibility, um, or I'm sorry, I don't know why I just said that, I was reading that sticker. The heated and enclosed Accessibility is removable underbelly panels. So the underside, this is where I was talking about, the tank heaters kinda of comes into play. If you ever need to do maintenance, these are kind of in what I would call like, you know, ribbed, um, but they're six foot paneling. So that way you can get in there. It lessens the expense of any maintenance if you ever have to do any. So it's a really nice way of doing that. Plus it allows you to camp longer. Again, heated and enclosed with the tank heaters. It's kind of the perfect storm right there. Solar charge controller to let you know the solar panels up top are doing something. Got a little place where you can crack a cold one. You know, good old apple juice, your battery disconnect got lights and then you're going to see welded on both sides with the aluma foil wrapping you know right up here as well the step above entry steps they're going to be the more sturdy you got the tri series right there so as you flip it up into the door but what i like is if it's like sleeting or snowing or raining or anything like that you have these weather strips plus it's really nice and sturdy compared to you know, some of the flimsier, just kind of aluminum steps right there just really helps you kind of get up and out you know with a little bit more security i guess i would say Goodyear tires, love seeing that. You know, everyone wants a good tire. Goodyear's definitely got them. That's kind of the, you know, the gold standard here for the RV industry. It's also got the lion's head, the, um, the warranty behind it. So tires built in the USA, scuff guard, speed rating at 87 miles per hour, one year, no excuse guarantee, and a five year warranty. So that is pretty darn cool to have. Flip it around back. I also like how they introduced the magnetic latches. So right here, you don't have those cheap plastic clips. You actually have a magnetic latch. So as you put it, boom, stays right there for an outside refrigerator. And this is gonna be one of the larger ones. You could definitely fit yourself in, probably a 48 pack of apple juice, something like that. You know, you'll be good to go. And then you also have the spray port and then an LP quick connect here as well. So that way, you know, you can hook up a grill or anything like that to do some cooking on the road. You do have a ladder to get on top of your roof, check your seals, check your slides. It's a fully walkable roof, so that's always a big time plus. And they went ahead and added in an actual bumper, you know, with a hitch there too as well with the two inch receiver. So if you want to put on, you know, a bike rack, you know, or anything of that nature, you're more than welcome to do so. See that little black box right there? That is prepped up for the Furion observation camera. So, you know, you put that bad boy on, it's a backup camera that also works when you're driving down the road with distance markers. So that's a big time plus, ease of use. It also has a built-in mic, one-way mic, so that way you don't have to yell back and forth at each other. Uh, you know, if you're backing up against that tree, that person can let you know, you know, hey, you need to stop, or, you know, hey, you gotta do whatever. You can also put slide toppers on this model. So one right here and one up in the front. That's if you choose to. What it is, basically it's an awning that goes from here to here that really stops and prevents, you know, any type of leaks or something from puncturing that seal. If you're ever gonna have a leak, it's gonna come from that slide where a tree branch or something lands on top of it and then it does crunch into that seal. Got one of your tank dumps right there. Again, the electric leveling. Electric leveling. Shibbity, bibbity, bibbity. All right, Suburban, this is the back end of your hot water heater. back end of the pass-through storage right here. And I love seeing the fact that it's got this docking station. So you have hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower, your city water fill, fresh tank water fill, and then your black tank. If you're not familiar with the black tanks, basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. Cable and satellites, winterization system, and a little click light right there. 
And then right there is going to be your auto level button. So one click leveling, you know, you're good to go. It's even got a place where you can attach a hose and run it out through the bottom. That way you can still close up these doors. Propane here behind this door. And then underneath here, you got a, you got a battery box for two batteries, another spare tire, and then just, you know, extra storage in general. But all right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hope you stick around. I got a lot of good stuff coming out this week, a lot of brand new models. This one was the 2024 Hemisphere 320 View. Have a good day. See you.